Okay, family, you already know who it is. It's a room in the building. Let me clean this screen off for you. It's a room in the building. Ow! Y'all already know. Everything is gravy, it's greasy. You know how we do. I'm trying to get a good, a, a good, perfect light. So y'all saw it. It's time. It's meal time. I'm about to go to the gym. Today is leg day, family. And being that it's leg day, gotta get my 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 my, my carbs in, whatever the case may be. Um, got my dog over here. She coming over here to give me hell. Show y'all what's going on here. All right. All right. So we gonna get right into it. But let me show you what we got here. This is, my, this is me eating right here. This is sweet potatoes. It's kale, quinoa. Got some hemp seed in there. Um, wild rice and stuff like that. I'm getting my calls and I'm about to go and work out. Whatever. Got to do legs today. You know, got to get that in. But today we're going to make. I got all natural. You see these grapes? Nothing but grapes and oranges. Got my juice in here. Let me show y'all the juice in here. The juice in here, we about to get it in. Yes, we about to get it in. It's not a game. So I'm eating this, right? With um making it on my juicer. Let's see if y'all can see that there. Because Health is wealth, man. All that other shit, you can give it back, man. So you know today I went to the store, about the healthy joint, got them honey crisp apples and stuff like that. That's what, I, that's what I'm gonna drink on. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it in like that. That's my get it in shake, so show you what I do. And, and the thing about this is it craves your sweet tooth. So you don't have to have a sweet, you know we got a sweet tooth, we want something Sweet and all that, like candy and all that. No, that's how I crave my sweet tooth. When I got a sweet tooth, I crave this. I, I go and eat this, right? All right. But this here, and I'm not a starchy vegan, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a starchy vegan. I'm, I'm a type of dude that, like, actually, like, have carbs that's not so starchy. So that's why I do the quinoa and the wild rice and stuff like that. That's why I do that. All right. With this, and I put one grape in it for, you know, the grapes are, like, super duper sweet. Use the grapes. Grapes are antioxidant and helps fight all types of different cancers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about mad different cancers, B. So that's why we use the grapes. Got a good source of vitamin B, B vitamins and all that. Um, the oranges is the vitamin C because you know the weather's changing. The weather, whenever the weather's changing, you, you want to um, change that up. And the thing about it is you don't want to be taking in all those chemicals, drawing by tropic candies and shit like that. So we want to keep it all as natural as possible. Everything organic here. So let's get this show on the road because I'm ready to eat. I'm a hungry ass. I'm ready to eat. That's all I got to tell you. I'm ready to eat. All right, family. Let's get it. And we, so we just take the grapes. Bussin' out. I don't watch this shit bussin' out the damn thing. This thing don't play no games. Shit is blurring out the joint. So we put it in there. Stuff it in there. Stuff it all up in. This is the grapes. We're gonna put the grapes in there first. It's automatically gonna mix in. Right? Make sure that's in there. Yo, it, 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 it don't cost that much neither, man. Ooh, look at that juice come out. Look at it come out. You're gonna see for your eyes. Everything is seated. So everything is going down with that. Everything is going down. I'm saying you don't wanna you wanna you wanna kind of like you wanna you wanna make everything as natural as possible. No, my children are gonna get one of these later on tonight when I'm gonna pick them up. Because I, I don't I don't do that. What's the name? So ready? Let's get it, family. We need them antioxidants, we need them vitamin C. Yo, we need to stop being so damn lazy. Start making our own stuff, relying on government for everything. 
That's right, let's get that juice popping. Let's get it shaking. So I'm one, of, I'm one of them trainers, right? I sit back and, and I keep it 100 and I tell people, yo, you're not eating right, man. Stop playing. You're playing games. You're playing games. And you know, people get mad at me when I say that, but if I don't keep it 100 with you, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't be real. I wouldn't be a real trainer if I didn't keep it 100. I'd be lying to y'all if I said, yo, that's what makes me a fitness expert. Cause I take this shit seriously. Cause they're killing us, little by little. Mm -hmm. All right. See, now that's pure orange juice coming out of there. Orange and grape juice. Look at that there, boy. Uh-huh. That's what we want to do. All that pulp is in there. That pulp is in there. That's going in. I, I, I don't know. I might just have to throw that in the garbage. But this is, this is, this is what life is about. Just take a little bit of time. A little bit of time out of your day. Just a little bit of time. That's all it takes. Purely concentrated. Purely concentrated. All right, and like and like I say, you know what I'm saying. You wanna you wanna make sure that you wanna you wanna make sure that you um getting your vitamins in for the day when you when you are actually a vegan, whatever the case may be. And everybody always say, oh, you don't got that much. Where, where where's your protein coming from? Where's ever yo? Know, everything is in the food. Meat don't only have the only source of protein. Come on, if meat had the only source of protein, then why the hell is you eating the protein shake? Or drinking the protein shake. But that's whey, that's milk. Oh, I've got to tell you, milk is actually what? Cow pus. You got blood in it, so have fun with that. You know what I'm saying? Have fun with that. That, that cow pus. Tell me how that worked out for you. Almost done, fam. We got one more left after this one. We gotta clean this shit out. <laughs> shit, I only got enough for one more. Look at this. I can sit here and do this all day. Sometimes you gotta take the time out to treat yourself. There it is. Now we all done. Uh huh. All right. Got my cup right here. My cup. So we're gonna transfer it over. Transfer it over. Yo, I, I swear to you, everybody always saying that. Um. Everybody always say, yo, eating healthy is, is expensive. No, it's not. Eating healthy is not expensive. That's an, what, what, what's expensive is that excuse that you're giving out. Talking about it's expensive. Because you got to think about it. When you go to the grocery store, whatever the case may be, oh, let me taste it first. Yo. Y'all got to try that out. It is straight up and down. Damn, this shit good. You don't need no sugar, no added, no nothing. As is. Moving to the side. You gotta think about this, right? When you own, um, first of all, all the fruits that I buy are seeded because you gotta think about this. If you had seedless anything, how the hell is you growing it without any seeds to it? That don't even make sense. So, of course, the seedless, the seedless stuff is, is a hybrid. That's what seedless is, it's a hybrid. So, the grapes I use are seeded grapes. The um, oranges, you know, they got seen it anyway. This is what it looks like. This is what real orange juice look like. That shit that they got in the, in, the, in the store, I don't know what the hell that is. Man, let me put it in the glass so you can see it better. Alright. Now I'm about to go to the gym, get this work in, so you can see what it looks like. 
All right, this is straight orange juice right here. Now tell me, family, doesn't this orange grape juice look a tad bit different? Just a tad bit different from what you buy from the store. How does it taste? It tastes um more smooth. It's smooth going down. It's not as tangy like it's tearing up your throat. Cause that be all those preservatives and shit that they put up in there. And it kind of tears your throat up. This tastes like real oranges, bro. This is real orange juice. People say they don't have enough time. You got enough time. Only thing you gotta do is make the time. See, the thing is, we make time for everything else instead of ourselves. Sometimes you just gotta make the time. I mean, why can't you just make a whole bunch of orange juice and, and, and then put it in the refrigerator for a day or two? What's wrong with that? Oh, we don't got enough time for that. You got enough time to watch Empire, though. Bet that. You're over there watching the episode of Empire, but you got enough time for that shit, right? Think about this. So I used to be a pescatarian, right? And let's, let's think about this for a minute. People say that eating, being a vegan is more expensive. Eating healthy is expensive. All right. Uh, if, you, if you go and buy salmon or anything, any type of fish from the store, right? That's going to run you anywhere between $20 to $30 a pot. And if you eat like how I eat, yo, that's a lot of freaking fish, yo. That's a lot. Sometimes I just spend like two, three hundred dollars alone on fish, right? Just imagine how much fruits and vegetables you can buy for two or three hundred dollars and make shit on your own. Yo, I bought the spelt flour. I made, I bought raw almonds, made my own almond milk, so I, that's the milk that we drink in here. I got agave for my natural sweetener. And I make my own shit. You see, I use five oranges and a batch of own grapes. And I made a cup right here. Good. Do I need that every day? No, I don't need it every day. But I need my fruits and vegetables every day. Sometimes I might just eat it like that. I just felt like eating it with my food before I go to the gym. You know what I mean? All right. Let's break it down. I want to gain muscle. I use a cup of a, a, a three... Three tablespoons of hemp seeds, which is 10 grams of protein. I have a cup of wild rice, which is six grams of protein. So that's 16 right there, right? No, matter of fact, I'm sorry, excuse me. I use six tablespoons of hemp seeds because that's my protein source. So that is 20 grams of protein because every three tablespoons is 10 grams of protein, right? My wild rice is six grams of protein. So that's 26 grams of protein right there. That's just the wild rice. And, uh, and the hemp seed, that's my protein sauce. For my carb sauce, I got a, the equivalent of a medium sweet potato. That's about 30 grams of carbs. My quinoa at a cup is another 30 grams of carbs. Hold on, but my wild rice is another 30 grams of carbs. Uh-oh, I got my vitamins in here. I got my kale in here. That's my vitamin K, my vitamin um, A and all that stuff like that. And like the hemp seeds and all that stuff, that's just the protein sauce and all that. And I said the wild rice and the quinoa. Both of those are 30, 30, 35 grams of carbs, plus the 35 grams of carbs of sweet potatoes. Then I got my vitamin B, my vitamin C, my kale is my vitamin A, my vitamin K. That's a whole meal right there. Think of, if you do the math to that and you add that up, and I'm going to eat the same exact thing today when I'm done, when I come home. So... Am I getting my carb sauce? Am I getting my protein sauce? Yes, I am. Every day. That's why I buy hemp seed. I'm going to show you something. I think I'm bullshit. Everybody always thinks somebody's bullshit. All right? We got this hemp seeds right here, right? All right, here it is. That's the hemp seeds, right? And on the back, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. This is why I put six. If you see it on the back, it says three tablespoons. That's a serving, right? And three tablespoons on the bottom, it says protein. I don't know if y'all can see it. But to protein is 10 grams. Right there, protein, 10 grams. It has three grams of carbohydrate, three grams of fiber, no sodium in it, total gram of natural good fat, 
is 30 grand and every so every three every three um tablespoons is 170 calories and that's where I get my energy because my, my my biggest concern my biggest concern when I was actually um becoming a bigger group was I gonna have enough energy to lift all the weights that I was lifting and yes I do I don't feel tired I don't feel sluggish nothing I feel powerful I feel strong Yo, I'm so mad because I feel like I should have been a vegan a long time ago. That's what I feel mad about. You know what I'm saying, fam? You gotta love it. You gotta love eating correctly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love it, man. That's right, you need to let them know. You gotta love it. So, I got all my nutritional fat. See, we're eating to live here. The taste, it tastes good. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, my seasoning, I use Himalayan pink salt. It has minerals in it, it has zinc, it has magnesium, it has potassium in it. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to help you out, this show proved me wrong. I'm trying to figure out what I didn't get into this little tiny meal. And you know what the other thing is? It fills me up. That's the crazy, because the things that I used to eat, I used to be like, man, this ain't gonna fill me up. Boy, your boy, was that ever wrong? It fills me up. I can eat this shit all day. And you know why I eat it all day? Because when I look at what people eat, and how they look, and how they feel, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be the statistic. I want to be that statistic when people say, this is how many people work out. You uh, know what I'm saying? Oh, you're welcome. Well, you know, Himalayan pink salt saved my life. I got sea salt too, but, you know, and, and you know what, and I always tell women, like, you know, because they lack a lot of nutrients to actually try to pick Himalayan, um, the Himalayan pink salt. You actually don't need a lot of salt. It's pure. You don't need a lot of salt. Look at this drink. Just made this. Does this look like the orange juice? The orange grape juice that you bought from the store. It looks like they put some diet in or something like that. And the thing is, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, it be super orange. Your orange, look, the orange drink that you drink from the store looks like this. This is what it looks like. But when you grind it up in the juicer, it looks like this. But granted, it is mixed with grape juice. So I know a lot of y'all eat. I know y'all a lot of y'all eat what? The grape and the orange mix. That's why I mix it together. Put some B vitamins in there, some antioxidants with some vitamin C. This is what it really looks like. It does not look like that Tropicana bull crap that you can sit on the shelf. When you ever see orange juice that you can sit on a hot shelf and just it and just it be as good as it was yesterday. Okay, you see them suds up there? That's a natural naturality to it. And it is good, Davina. It's, it's, it's banging. I love it. Look at that. Okay, family. I'm gonna get the crush on this meal, but I want you to think about what I said. Like I said, you can spend a lot of money on, on, um, meat products, fish and all that stuff like that, and you'll sit there and say, oh, eating healthy is bad. But when we go back to what our ancestors ate, that's why you look on the walls of ancient Kemet, you don't see no obesity up there, man. They opened up that pineal gland. Know how they did that? With natural foods. They didn't eat meat. Don't let them tell you that they did, because they really did, you know what I'm saying? And, and I sit back and I tell my people like, yo, y'all tripping, man. Y'all really tripping. Because I hear people say, I gotta have me. You don't have to have me. No, man. <laughs> yeah, yo, my fans, they on crazy too. They were looking at me like, because it's the fools that make us excited. Because when we find out that everything they sold to us in the store was garbage and we can make this stuff on our own 
know what I'm saying? Like, we, we start to say, oh, snap. Man, I'm paying all this money for that? You pay more for orange juice than you will if you bought oranges. Think about that. See, now I'm looking for them big old, big old oranges that Dr. Sabi was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it, it is a passion. I don't even like go. I, I, yo, I'll drive home past the store. I'm like, yo, you know what? I want some orange juice. Let me go to the store and buy me some oranges. <laughs> that's how I think now. But you know what? That's that's when we stop being lazy and stop depending. We start depending on ourselves. We be having all this stuff right in the kitchen. And what we want to do? We want to go and get it from somewhere else. I'm telling you, man. I I I, I love it. I wish I'm mad at myself. I should have been doing this before. Self-sufficient, yes. That's right. That's right, they they, they ate natural foods. Think about this. If you look up history, it's imagine if everybody ate meat from the dawn of time. There would not be any animals left on the planet Earth. And you notice when they started hunting the buffaloes and eating them, they became extinct in in a matter of nothing. So imagine they was eating this stuff from back in the days. There would be no animals, period. None at all. All the fish would be gone. All the animal land animals would be extinct. They're coming extinct now. Why? Because we're eating them. When you look at ancient Kemet and all that, you got to think about it. They use animals for labor. As people, they decide to say, well, people are easier to control. They can do more than animals. So we're going to use people as labor. You know what I'm saying? So, and they did live longer. They live longer, healthier lives. Unless they was poisoned or something like that. But, yo, I'm telling you, man. Think about it. Imagine if for the last 10, 20,000 years you eat an animal. How many animals do you think would be left? If within my lifetime, that animals have become extinct. In my lifetime. But you know the only thing that lives after it's cut is a plant. Like I said, you cut some asparagus, you cut an inch off, you throw that asparagus in water. Think about the plants that you buy. You keep that asparagus in water, guess what? It lives. It lives. Think about that, man. That's something you gotta think about. Wild humans, wild humans aren't made to eat um animal byproducts think about it every carnivore has them front fangs because they rip it tear they got enzymes in their stomach and they eat their meat raw what's the only foods we can eat raw grains grains and what grains and own um, vegetables the only thing we can eat raw you can take any vegetable throw it up in a, a blender and drink that you're good try eating meat raw fish anything tell me how that work out for you Living energy versus day. That's right. Simple. Plain and simple. You are going, you're eating a dead soul. I don't want to eat a soul of an animal. Because <laughs> they went through pain. They went through torture. You know what they say? Don't cut the tree from the root. Cut it to make a stump so it continues to grow. So it's almost like you're giving a tree a what? You're cutting the tree's nails. Because if you up, lift, lift it from the root, you kill it. That means when they cut the tree, the wood never dies. The wood that is cut off eventually dies, but it's still living. Same thing with plants. When you plant something, you can just trim it down. Leave the roots in, it's going to continue to grow. But if you kill an animal, it's dead. It's gone. That animal's babies have no mother. So, you know, I'm glad I made this this choice with some help, of course, of here. But you know what? Let me get up out of here. My dog right here. She's acting like she wants some of my food, but she ain't gonna get that because she eat me. I should put my dog up there. Let me show y'all her tea. Come here, girlie. Let me show y'all. See, you know, you we already know how our tea falls. Let's, let's, let's look at the dog tea. Come here, go, come here, come here. Say hi to everybody. Now look, we don't have those. She can rip and tear. We do not have those. 
human teeth do not look like that. You know what I'm saying? Human teeth do not look like that. She can rip through meat and all that. No, she mad at me, y'all. No, she mad at me. She went back in the cage. <laughs> she, mad. she mad at me, y'all. <laughs> look at all me. Back to farming, gotta move a little stick to see. Yup. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's bad business, y'all. But that's why I gotta tell y'all today. Eat to live, plain and simple. That's all it's about, man. And she got them chops. <laughs> yeah! All right, family. I'm gonna have to put this one on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna save this video and put it on YouTube. Cause people need to know, it's cheaper to eat vegetables. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cheaper. Think about this. When you go there, if you had $200 and you bought fruits and vegetables, it'll last you forever. It'll go bad. You couldn't even do it all at one time. And the thing is, it makes days of meals. Wild rice, I'm gonna give you some tips. Wild rice, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, sweet potatoes, hemp seeds, kumut. I can't even say the other shit. I forgot the name of it. Quinoa, all different types of flavors and, and colors. Get your Himalayan, Himalayan pink salt. You know, every fruit that you get, make sure it got a seed to it. Make sure it has a seed to it. Get some limes, get some spring water, and get it in. Fight for your life, because some of y'all got cause that you take better care than yourself. Get it in. My name is Brother Haru, and I'm out for now. Check me out on YouTube at RevoCatTV. RevoCat7TV. You can check out some of my programs on revocast7.com. Until next time, Electric Foods. <laughs> <laughs>